hello guys welcome back to another Android studio tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about another feature of an Android action bar in this episode we are going to learn about what is the use of up button on the action bar suppose your application contain a number of activities so the user have to click the back button again and again to come back to the home activity and if you place an up button on the action bar the user can directly come back to the home activity by just pressing the up button on the action bar that is the use of the up button on the action bar so by placing an up button on the action bar you can specify logical parent of each activity so here I am going to show you how to use an up button on the action bar so this contain this application contain only a one activity that is the main activities or we have to add another two activities so here I'm going to add two activities so create a new activity it's a blank activity I specify the activity name as child activity one specify the layout name as child layout 1 ok and click ok click finish ok now here we add one activity now I'm going to add one more activity create another activity again a blank activity name the activity as child activity 2 child activity 2 and change the layout name into child layout 2 child layout 2 and click finish so we have two activities child activity 1 and child activity 2 also we have the main activity so go back to the activity main.xml file we have to add some GUI component into the activity main.xml file so here I'm going to add a large text view a large text view is added also I need a button to start a child activity go to the XML version and specify a name for the activity home activity okay here is the button change the text of the button start first child also I have to specify an on click method for the button I name it as Android on click name it as start child okay so on the home activity we have a button and a text view so the user can start the first child activity by pressing this button so go to the main activity we have to define that method so here I am going to define that method public void start child Uh, don't forget to add the view argument ok so from this method I have to start the second first child so call the start activity method specify an indent object new indent specify context now specify the class name the class name is child activity 1 okay this will start the first activity yeah we have to specify the class name class okay so from the main activity the user can user can move it to the first child activity so we have to open up the child activity xml file this is the child layout one child layout one so here also, here also the same thing we have to add some message and a button to start the second activity so add a text view 
also add a button the same thing uh, specify a text for the activity first child okay and specify some button text start second child also specify an on-click method and do it on-click start child okay now go back to the activity 1 child activity 1.java here you have to specify that method again the same method public void start child don't forget to add the view argument ok from this method I have to start the second child so call the start activity specify the indent new indent specify context object this now specify the class name the class name is child activity 2 dot class ok and go back to the child activity 2 xml file here we have to display some message to indicate this one is the last the second child so add a large text view add a large text view and this is the second child second child ok so we have two activity first child and second child and from the main activity the user can start the first child activity and from the first child activity the user can start the second child ok so before going to add the up button I am going to run this application now ok here is the main activity or the home activity now here I am going to start the first child activity so this is the first child activity now start the second child activity so this is the third activity that means the second child activity so if the user need to go back to the main activity or the home activity he need to click the back button so I click the back button if I click the back button it will go back to the first activity not to the main activity now again he need to click the back button to come back to the home activity or the main activity that is the problem if there is a number of activities are available the user need, needs to click the back button again and again to come back to the home activity now here I am going to set some up button on the action bar for the child activities so the first thing you need to set something on the android manifest.xml file so go to the android manifest.xml file here is the child here is the main activity and here is the child activities there are two child activities child activity 1 and child activity 2 so first here i am going to set the up button that means the logical parent for the first child that means child activity 1 for that you have to add another attribute here and draw it this one parent activity name and here you need to specify the class name for the parent activity here the parent activity is the main activity okay and here is the second activity the second child activity here also I specify the parent activity name here also the parent is main activity so the up button is supporting from Android version 4.0 and above sorry it is not available in 4.0 it is available for version higher than 4.0 for getting support from 4.0 and lower you need to add some metadata into the activity so here you need to add some metadata uh, 
uh, this is for getting support for Android version 4.0 and lower okay first you have to specify some Android name Android name equal to Android dot support dot parent activity activity okay now you need to specify some the value for the attribute Android value here the parent activity is main activity the same thing you need to add for the second child activity the same metadata okay so now the metadata is for Android version 4.0 and lower and if the Android version is 4 points greater than 4.0 uh, then there is no need of this metadata you can use this only Android parent activity name only okay so now we add the needed component into the Android manifest.xml file now we have to enable the up button for the action bar for the two two child activities so go to the first child activity child activity one child activity one okay here it is and here you need to enable the up button on the action bar for that uh, get the action bar I use the get support action bar dot and you have to call a method called the set display home as up uh, type the method set to display home as up enabled this one and make the value as true okay this will enable the up button on the action bar so if you working with Android version 3.0 and above instead of get support action bar you can instead of this get a uh, get support action bar you can call the get action bar uh, this is for Android version 3.0 and lower okay uh, so now we enable the up button for the first child activity so now we have to enable the up button for the second child activity so go to the child activity 2 and enable the up button for the second child activity okay now we finish all the coding now we can test the application okay now here is the main activity I go to the first child activity now on the action bar we can see the up button on the left corner this is the up button on the action bar now I am going to the second child this is the second child here also we enable the up button on the action bar okay suppose I want to go to the main activity I need to click the back button again and again to come back to the home activity and now I am going to the last activity again so now I am in the second child activity so if I click the back button it will go back to the first child activity and if I want to directly go back to the main activity or the home activity I can just click the up button on the action bar this will directly go to the home activity or the main activity that is the use of the up button on the action bar you can specify logical parent for each of the activities I hope you understand the concepts thank you for watching see you in the next episode